I'm in front of Kagura Zakura Hanpen, the restaurant for this uh, Jumbo Gyoza challenge. I'm just waiting for some friends to arrive and uh, we'll head into it. This is the Jumbo Gyoza in the display. Look at how freaking massive that is. They've also got other challenges like a hundred gyoza challenge, a giant fried rice, and triple ramen challenge. Welcome to another video guys. The staff lady here just started the challenge out of nowhere. So I was totally caught off guard by the start and uh, didn't know what to do. I want to eat a burrito style. I've seen it done like this before. And I think it's amazing. Efficient is what I meant to say before I cut myself off. Unfortunately, the burrito gyoza is falling apart already. The insides were so heavy that it was just destroying the outer wrapping. I've seen someone else eat it burrito style and it was like so clean. Oh really? But I think this is so fresh, like I can't even touch it. I'm so sick. <laughs> I just really want to underscore how delicious this gyoza was. I know it looks rather plain, but it's like packing so much garlic flavor. Uh, the pork was extremely juicy. Like just watching this video makes me crave it all over again. Taco. This is so good. I'm like trying to savor it. It finally crossed my mind to show the timer to the camera. I think I didn't do that initially because of the uh, unexpected start to the challenge. This is so delicious.
I've seen other YouTubers complain that they get sick of the taste. Luckily, I'm not one of those people. What I mean to say is that luckily I don't get sick of the same flavor very easily. I can generally eat the same thing over and over again all week with no variation. The gyoza burrito was so fat that I just couldn't bite it anymore. So here I put it down so that I could scoop out little bits to make it flat enough to pick up and eat like a burrito again. 15 minutes. Let's try to be 14. Yep, and now it finally fits all in my mouth. No, oh yeah. Yeah, it's just I'm getting tired. Taste wise, now it's getting a little bit bland. I've been wanting to add the flavors, but I just didn't want to touch anything with my grubby hands. But I figured I have this. So. I'm getting tired though. You tired, huh? Yeah. Last spring, I'm just gonna go real fast. Oh, it's hard, but because then I get messy and then I get like self conscious. <laughs> because this dough is so thick, but it hurts my jaws. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But leave no doubt. I'm gonna savor the last bite because I rarely ever eat bread. Okay, so um, I'm really reluctant to speak ill about people and establishments, but I had a really bad experience at this restaurant, and I normally wouldn't say anything, but this restaurant and its challenge is actually really famous, so I feel like I would be doing a disservice to future customers if I don't mention this, but um, yeah, if you want to do this challenge, um, you might get scammed out of your money, similar to me. So to give the full story, um, I had to pay the, for the challenge in advance, and it was about like a hundred bucks so it's not cheap and I did my due diligence when I arrived at the restaurant and before the challenge started I asked them specifically if I could record the challenge or if that would disqualify me from getting my money back and they reassured me that it was okay to record and I would get my money back if I won so the challenge goes on and I won as you saw and then um, afterwards I was approached by the staff member and she said that their prior reassurance was actually wrong and that I wasn't allowed to record and so they never gave me my money back I did offer to delete my video footage in front of them but they refused that offer and they just wanted to keep the money so that just kind of shows that that whole video rule that um, they seemingly made up like it just wasn't important to them 
and they just really wanted to hang on to the money. The other suspicious thing is that like this supposed video rule is like found nowhere not on the official challenge rules like they do have official challenge rules written out and the video thing is not on there and so it's just my assumption but it seems like they just made up this rule to keep the money after i won and even if the rule is like like true you know like even if they've had that rule for a while but they just never posted it one the fact that they never posted it is super unfair and two they kind of tricked me into losing my money because they told me that it was okay to record the mistake is on them you know and so really they should have owned up to the mistake and uh gave me my money back but instead they chose to punish me for their mistake so i found that to be totally unfair so um yeah just be careful if you want to do this challenge too um, let it be known that you cannot record but since i essentially paid for the recording um, i am able to upload this video rant over so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when new videos are coming out i have a lot of videos lined up for the near future and um check out some of my other videos over on the left cheers